previously on. Oh, what's this? Sorry, I'm so busy. Okay, you're just busy standing there, but go off, I guess. Could you tell me anything about the compound? Compound? Who said anything about a compound? Oh, why are you stuttering? You know Go what? I, I really am very busy. Oh, now you're busy. Anyways. Been a long time since we've had any trouble in town. Diamond City Radio. What are you trying to say, Brian? Alright, so he's around the corner here. So I'm gonna take a look at this terminal. Don't mind me, I'm just, you know, here. From a brief rest to a long stay, we have everything you are looking for in Covenant. Located in the Central Commonwealth, we have easy access to the best and safest trade routes in the area. Yeah, sure, okay. From the pile of dead bodies I see outside your covent, I doubt that. Our guest dormitories are spacious, well appointed, and our friendly Mr. Handy even offers free lemonade. It would be so funny if he low key puts poison in the lemonade, but not enough to kill you instantly, but enough to kill you over time. For large caravans, extra sleeping bags can be provided on request. Just talk with Mr. Fitzgerald. We hope you enjoy your stay here as much as we enjoy having you. Okay. We're a young community formed by like-minded individuals dedicated to restoring a quality of life that's been gone for too many years. Our secret ingredients are a shared vision, hard work, and old-fashioned hospitality. My ass! You got me to take this weird-ass quiz and proceed to talk about how you don't want sense and anyone that's out of the ordinary in the fucking town like hypocrites since the walls have come up we've hosted more and more traders our store offers a wide variety of trade goods at rock bottom prices if you find it cheaper elsewhere let us know and we'll beat it tell your friends mm -hmm, okay we often get asked about the safe test. What is it? Why is it necessary? Your safety and ours is our number one concern here. And the safe test is how we maintain it. The test was designed by some of the old world's greatest minds to get a detailed psychological profile of its participants. People failed the test for all sorts of reasons antisocial tendencies <laughs> me vulgarity mm, me and mental health to name a few damn i wouldn't even f fucking pass this test then if that's the case often they'll be just fine if we let them in but we're extra cautious to ensure that only good quality folk like yourself get to enjoy the comforts of covent remember it's all for your Safety. <laughs> Lord, my God. It's good to see a new face around here. Uh, Jacob. Jacob. I hope you're enjoying your stay. Jacob, you fucking. Thanks for the warm welcome. And you have manners too. Yeah. That makes you doubly welcome here. Right. Unfortunately, I got a town to run. Yes, you got a town to run. In our little town. Mr. You... Fitzgerald. You have a peaceful stay in our life. Oh my god, this town, I feel like this town is being brainwashed. And something tells me no one wants to even help with the investigation, because someone knows. Well, hello. No, don't say hello to me, Jacob, you weird asshole. Yo, Dirty Dan! I hate this place. Huh, <laughs> you hey, and me Dan. both. This whole place has got me on edge. I hope you found something on the caravan. Uh, anyways. Hold on. 
I found the list. What am I gonna do though? Ayo. Oh. Hi. Hi. Talia. Do you need to use my tools? So you're not gonna say anything, cool. Huh. Something tells me that even though this door is locked, I should unlock it somehow. But the thing is, I don't have good lock picking skills. Damn it. The Damn it. Stay in our little town. Hold on, let me see. Let me see something. Let me ask one more time. Enjoy hey. your stay. Penny. You here to shop? If not, I'm sure you've got places to go and all. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed your stay. Do you have time for a few questions? Well, I don't know. I'm awfully busy. No, you're not. Make Stop it lying. All right, I so. I have to go. Well, you take care now. Okay, so I went through all of the investigations. It's just, what? what's that? Hold on. What's that right over there? Huh. Interesting. Anyways, I just... I feel like... I feel like this is not getting anywhere. Yo! Kitty cat! No? Nothing. Let me... Fresh brewed lemonade. Let me ask this robot one more time. Maybe there's some questions. They're hiding something. I'm sure of it. Thank you, Dirty Dan, for t hey, reminding Deezer. me. Hey, Deezer. Fresh lemonade here! I'll take some. Enjoy! Cool. So... There's no way, shape, or form for me to get inside there. And it looks like the storms are brewing. Let me see if I'm able to... do something here. Do I have any... don't have any special stuff here. And it seems like my lick... my lock picking skills is not even a point here. So it seems like... I can't really do anything about it. Find the location of the secret c compound. Damn. It's like there's no way to even figure out where the compound is. So I'm wondering, should I abandon this quest for now? Hey. Shoot. Hey, Piper. You know, you look like you could really use this. These things have literally saved my life. Your thoughts? You were right about Nat. Thanks. Again. Oh, you're so... Is so... everything all right between us, Piper? You got nothing to worry about. We're good, Blue. And what do you say we get back to making trouble? You know what? I like that. Let's nothing go. Else for now. Sure. Head on in. Penny's shop is usually the first stop. Hey, Swanson. Head on in. Penny's shop is usually the first stop. Is that Head your on only in. dialogue Penny's yet? Penny's shop is, is usually the first asshole. stop. Um. Compound. There's really nothing here for me to. What about these travelers? Too many Excuse miles me. on the road. Best way to spend your caps At least is the pay is high terrible. My armor. That advice is free. Nothing. Okay. So there's no way for me to even do this quest, come to think of it. So I'm going to abandon this quest for now. Until I get my lockpicking skills at least. Because it seems like I'm not able to get inside this house at all. 
so... Fuck it, I guess. Um... Where is the slog? I'll go and do the slog quest, so... You see, this is what annoys me with Fallout. Because it's like you have to have certain skills for a different quest. And if you don't, you can't really complete the quest. And personally, I hate having to abandon or even leave quests unfinished because it's going to irk me. And I know, yeah... I can't complete the mission, it's not my fault since that's how the game is developed, but at the end of the day, it's like, bro, what's the point in me doing this quest if you're going to punish me for not having certain skills? Your mom. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, it's a suicider. Oh, anyways, I'm minding my own business. Of course Piper doesn't, but that's Piper for you. Oh shit! Yeah. Hey yo, who's hitting me? Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh shit, come on, come on, come on. Yo, I need Ada. I need Ada. Ada's coming with me. And I know Piper's already done, so... Ooh, shit. I'm, I'm being screwed. I am being screwed. Ooh, my god. Thank you for mods. Because I would've been dead. Alright, time for me to put on my, um... Stim pack. And please don't look at how much I have, please. There you go. I'm all set. Huh. Interesting. I definitely gotta go and finish the Mechanist quest as well. But fuck it. I wanna spend more time with Piper, so... Ooh, what is this? Wow. A big ol' swim pool. How much you want to bet that pool is so radiated? So fucking radiated. Alright, let me see here. Are these... Ghouls? <clears throat> Welcome to the slaw. We're the only tarberry bog in the commonwealth. So what do you think of the place? Looks fine, I guess. <laughs> I wouldn't really know. Yeah, I didn't think you had the look of a farmer about you. Damn, or okay. Or the city type, I'd say. Yeah. But with that smooth, clean skin. Y you, you sound probably mad probably noticed right it's now. only ghouls around here. I used yeah. to live in Diamond City. Until that rat bastard mayor threw me and all the other ghouls out. I decided that we ghouls should have a place where we could feel welcome. And that's mainly why I started up this farm. Why did the mayor throw you out? We're ugly. Damn. We turn feral and kill people. Damn. We gives the kids nightmares. Damn. All the usual stuff we get from you smooth skins. Hey, now, hey, it's hey. true that there was one incident in Diamond City where a ghoul turned feral and someone got hurt. But I ask you this. How many humans have suddenly turned violent and killed someone? I've seen it more times than I care to admit. You made a good what point. What if this place could be more than just a refuge for ghouls who aren't welcome elsewhere? What if it could also be an example of what we can do when we put our minds to something and work together? We want this to be a place that everyone looks forward to visiting, with smiling faces, good bargains, and great produce. Maybe we can make people take a second look, you know? Maybe then they'd see that we're not monsters. I could see why you're called Wise Man, and I definitely love your vibe, bro. It's awesome. Anything I can do to help? As a matter of fact, there is. We can't sell tarberries without traders, and trade caravans need safe roads. 
There's a gang of super mutants that's been preying on anyone who comes near their turf. Of course. Including traitors. I'm not surprised. It'd be a great help to us if you could take care of those brutes once and for all. Do you know where they're coming from? We have a pretty good idea. I hope you can find them and wipe them out. And then afterwards, hopefully you'll join the Minuteman. Anyways, let me see where... Wait, what's that? Oh. Thought that was someone. Alright, let me see where these super mutants are at. Ah. Oh. Not too far from here. Let's go and kill some super mutants. And you know, that Mayor McDougal... It's so ironic how he threw all those people out, and yet his brother is a ghoul as well. Fucking hypocrite, if you ask me. Oh, that looks an that looks nice. I mean, I'm not really feeling the windows, but other than that, that looks pretty dope. And what the hell is that? Is that a mutated cockroach? No, I'm fine. I'm not in the mood to deal with anything. Oh, fuck me. Really? Oh, Lord. Of course I'm going to be dealing with these animatronics. Damn, come on. It should not take you this long to die, though. Come on. Come on. Hold still. Oh, come on. No. Oh my god, oh my god. They are injecting me with their radioactive shits. This is worse than my diarrhea escapades back at work. And how do I get handicapped? Oh my god, I'm I'm literally handicapped because they're projecting poop in my eye. Violated. I am violated! I am violated. I can't stand this. This is so disgusting! This is why I would never live in a Fallout universe, because I would literally cry if one of those flies threw their poop in my face. I would drench myself in bleach, just to even give her the thought of me being desecrated like that, with their fucking feces. Anyways... All right, I'm here. Stupid mutants, let's go. Fuck your dog. Fuck you. Wow, that's rude. But then again, I did deserve that for saying fuck you, so it makes sense. What was that? You really asking what was that, Viper? All right, you're next. And by the way. If you ever do play Fallout, and when you battle an enemy, and they have a skull right next to their name, it means that they are a few levels above you, so it's going to be pretty hard to fight them. But me, with my mods... Wow, I'm being... Wow, okay, that's cool. So I got hit. A whole bunch of times. Let me just get my stim pack here and I feel wonderful all over again all right let's go come on and your dog gets it too come on you deserve death you deserve death you all deserve death oh shit this is a lot of huge super mutants. No, it's not. Who the hell told you? Whoever lied to you? Y'all- Y'all ain't shit. See, this is why you die against my laser gun. This is the age of powerful gaze. And I, when I say a powerful gaze, I mean myself. As I get injured. Come on, why won't you die? Perfect. No, I don't need a stealth, damn it. This doesn't work. 
Ooh, ooh, ooh. I did not mean to do stealth. I was actually trying to find my stim pack. Thank you. Anyways, so I'm gonna go and draw. Thank you. Alright, so since that is over, let me get off of stealth. No, I'm invincible. Oh, shit! Hey, yo, how do I not become invincible? I'm like so. You know what? Hopefully, it fades away after a while. And is that a Nuka Cola? Yes. I'll take that, I'll take that, and I'll take that. Alright, let's go back to my ghouls. Because I definitely want to show them again. They have really great vibes. And I definitely fuck with what they're all about. So. It's so amazing how, even this far off into the future, war ain't shit. Because look how it turned out. Leftover equipment all over the place. People either radiate to death or they become ghouls and feral ghouls or super mutants. And look at this, we're still trying to recover after how many years of war? Like I said, war ain't shit. It sucks that it happens, but at the end of the day, I just don't feel like anything is really solved with war. Good to see you. Good to see you too, and oh my god, I see the hat, looking Hi good. There. Hey, what's good? Well, you're still alive. Yeah. That either means you haven't gone after those super mutants yet, or good news? Yes, bitch, hello good news. I killed all of those super mutants, so... Can I talk to you, bro? Hello? Those super mutants won't be bothering you again. I guess you were the right person for the job, huh? Yep. Thanks, friend. By the way, we've decided to support the Minutemen. Yes. We've got to help each other if we want things to get better. Good, which means you know where I'm going. Oh, Preston. Get it to it, yeah. All right, all right, so... Hey, do you have a moment? I wanted to thank you for helping us out in Concord. If only we'd run into you sooner. Dude, you're good. Trust that me. It all worked out in the end. No. Our problems aren't so simple. My okay. son, he's... He's gone. Your son? What was his name? Kyle. My son's name was... Kyle. I understand how you feel. I lost someone too. But you and I, we're still here, right? That's right. We have to go on. For them. That's right too. You see, John Long, you're a good guy, I can tell. I like your vibes. Preston! Yo, guess what? We got another town. Apparently, the castle's side. been trying to get you on the radio. Wait, really? Some kind of situation over there. What? Better go see what's going on. Oh, shit. Damn it. Anyways. I took care of those super mutants. The settlers were relieved to not have them to worry about anymore. Thank the God. The settlers were relieved. Civilians just don't stand a chance against them. As usual, I've got something else for you. Of course you do. Our scouts have found a promising spot for a new settlement. Once you clear it out, set up a radio beacon to let settlers know about it. Before you know it, we'll have a thriving new farm instead of wasteland. We'll take back the Commonwealth, one piece at a time. Alright, this is perfect. So, I do see Ada. I'm always glad to see the sun come up one more time. And, no offense, Piper, but I definitely want to hang out with her. So, with that being said, where's she at? She just dipped. Where? I guess I won't see her. Ayo, she just hid. Alright, Piper, I guess you'll... I guess you'll be... Kate? 
Hello there. Been too long since I picked a fight. I can tell. You wanna... Excuse me. Ready to head back out? That depends. How are you feeling? I dunno. Feeling kinda useless sitting here with me thumb up me arse. So, are you ready oh. to get this show in the road? Yeah, you're hella feisty. It's literally so early. Ready. Good. Then let's get moving. So, no one's managed to put you in the ground yet, Kate? Not Cut it yet. Out. Though it isn't for lack of trying. Cut it out, Piper. Stop being jealous. Anyways. Alright, Kate, you're coming with me. Piper, you take a break. And at this point, since the castle's looking for us... Let's go. I don't understand these Minutemen. Why the hell would you bother helping? Your Minutemen certainly cleaned the place up nicely. Even got rid of the Marlurk smell. Yeah. That... That whole... Cleanup you mentioned... Was a fucking pain in the ass. But I do see that there's a couple of new people around, which is good, and a woman's approaching me with a gun. I hope it's not bad. I really hope it's not bad. <clears throat> ah, there you are. Finally. I've been waiting to talk to you. Who are you? I'm Ronnie Shaw, Commonwealth Minutemen. At least I was. Back before Joe Becker got himself killed and the idiots took over. Damn. Um... Joe Becker? Who's that? That's just sad. What? I General asked you a question. General used to run the Minutemen. The last real leader we ever had. After he died, there wasn't anybody left with the guts and brains to pull things together. I'd still like to hear what you came to talk to me about. Heard you were trying to get the Minutemen back on their feet. Yeah, that's true. Thought I'd come see the new general for myself. So what's your story? What makes you think anybody even wants the Minutemen back? Well, Ronnie, you're here for a reason, right? So... The Commonwealth needs the Minutemen. People are starting to realize that. I've heard some good things. Wouldn't be here otherwise. Good. Now that I'm here, I can see you really need my help. Hmm. That's... that's cool. Are you offering to rejoin? I guess I am. But first things first. I'm the realist. I'm probably the only one who still remembers this. But the castle's armory was located in the West Bastion. All of our best equipment was stored in there. Weapons, ammo, schematics, you name it. Weapons, on, ammo? I'll show you. Bitch! It's oh, a good thing you're here alert, then! Alert. Show me where the fuck this thing is! Alert! We just, just got a call for help from one of our settlements. Any minute men within range, please respond. Yeah, I'll do that later. Ah, good. Looks like it might still be intact. Door still sealed. Bastion hasn't collapsed. Trick now is finding a way in. I hope you have an idea. Of course I do. Damn. If you can't go through, go around. Let's have a look at the northeast bastion. If you can't go through, look around. Okay, alright. I mean... If you can't look through, go around. I'm about to say that to everything now. And I like how they literally are listening to some classical ass music. The best. Damn, it is dark as shit in here. All right, this so this was the general's quarters. Used to be a tunnel leading from here to the armory. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next time.